Welcome to my map guide for Colosseo for tanks. So number one is the general principle here is going to be the same as most other maps, which is after you win, move up and take control of as much space as you possibly can without dying. If you move forward so far that you die without your supports getting to you, then you've made a mistake. But up until that point is important, and I'm going to try to give you a general ideas of how far to go. Number two, the map is a giant horseshoe. So starting from here, maybe even a horseshoe, U shape. Uh, half oval, whatever you want to call it. So you start from here, and then you're going to run out this way, like that, and you notice that it takes a pretty long time to go this way. What is extremely important about this map is that you can go through the center of the map, which is much faster if you want to get across. And this is very important. So for example, if you died in this mid fight, and your cart's able to push all the way over here, let's say, not the first win, but like maybe a win after that, you should come through the center of the map to re rejoin your team. Also, note that going through this side, it forks right here to come this way, is also very powerful if you've gotten the robot all the way to this point. So just very important to recognize that when you respawn, you should think, which of the three paths do I take? Do I go main? Do I go center, center, center? Or do I go center left? Always something you should be thinking about when you respawn. Typically, you're going to be going main unless the robot's very far, in which case you're going to be going center, center, and very rarely you'll be going center left. All right, next up is it's okay to push the robot as far, or sorry, it's okay to not push the robot as far if it means you won't stagger and die. So for example, the most common scenario this happens is if you win the fight in mid and you push up, but you only have three people alive on your team, let's say, you do not want to die here, right? Just move the robot up to the point where like they start poking you pretty hard, then go back and regroup with your team. That's totally fine. You do not want to fight here and die 3v5 because you'll constantly get staggered and it'll snowball from there. So very, very important to recognize, like, okay, look, at this point, let's just leave the cart, back up, rejoin with your team. Very, very important instinct, and it's a common reason why I think at lower ranks, push ends up being very snowball because people don't understand that concept. Regarding which tank to play on this map, I think basically all the tanks are viable, which I think is great. The only thing I would note is I personally would not play Winston at the very start, and only at the very start of the game. The reason being is the mid fight over here has very long sight lines and no verticality, which is really, really bad for Winston. So I know it's playing Owl, but I personally would never play Winston on the beginning of the map. After the beginning of the map, I think it becomes a lot more dynamic, and I think Winston is fine. But at the very beginning, I wouldn't play Winston. I think all the other tanks are totally fine. Okay, let's talk about mid. So generally speaking, tanks roll out. Uh, you're going to basically turn this corner right around the same time, assuming no Symmetra, no Lucio, no you know extra speed or anything like that. So they're going to come out of uh, this arch, and this arch are typically the ones that you're going to run into. Your goal as the tank is to theoretically take this U right here. But in the beginning, you can't do that safely because of the timing. Most likely, you're going to need to play right here, this corner, and use a combination of this corner and this uh, barrier to stay alive and just prevent their tank from walking forwards and to prevent yourself from just dying from so much spam. So you're going to kind of bounce here, here, possibly going up as far as here, and look for an opportunity to start moving in. That opportunity could be they you get a pick or they start getting low, they use an important cooldown, like for example, Risa like throws away Fortify early or something like that. Then your next goal is going to be able to step in here. For the record, this is applies to mostly the brawl and poke tanks. I think dive tanks are gonna be doing their own thing, but it's still not entirely wrong. Like as Diva, you could play pretty brawly at this point. Um, you're going to walk in to this U, okay? Let's call this U right here. And the moment that you walk into this U, you want to take this side of the U. And the reason being is their tank is going to be playing right here or right here. And the second that you take this spot, they are going to be able to, you can fight them, right? But the rest of their team can't fight you because of the sharp 90 degree corner and the rest of your team can shoot them. So for example, they have a ride shield, okay? They can only shield you or shield your team. They cannot shield both. Right? It's too hard to do that. Same thing for Risa, right? She can only spin in one direction. So the moment that you step into this U, the fight is probably going to be decided in the next three to five seconds because their tank has to decide either A, you've made a mistake and they're going to push back in and kill you, or B, they're going to have to back off from this corner. And once they back off from this corner, your robot will start walking forwards and then it'll be standing right here so you have extra cover because it's a barrier plus the robot, and then you can go this way and clear the tank down. I would say 75 to 90% of the time, if you can take this spot right here, right, with your team all intact, right, in 5-5 five five scenario, you're probably going to win the fight. From here, you just work your way into this angle, right, and then push the tank back. Because the tank here cannot be healed by their supports as well, okay, because usually the supports are playing somewhere over here. So this, like, 
uh, I don't know what to call it, bulwark here is actually very, very important in terms of on uh, when you're pushing to prevent line of sight. And then you can move in here and then push them back or you know spam them out, whatever it ends up being. Obviously, there's a lot of nuance here depending on what hero you're playing, what hero they're playing, etc., etc. But generally speaking, your goal as tank is to take control of you, push up to here, at which point you can step back here and maybe your supports can heal you or step here and your supports can heal you, but they you can't get shot from their team unless, except for one DPS who might be playing here, other than that, you're, you're home free. Then rotate here, rotate here, and then if you have this control, you've won the fight. There's like, I don't think I remember a single fight where I've gotten all the way to here, like with health, and the fight is not over. So from here, it's very rare that the defending team or losing team is able to retreat just because it's a relatively long walk from here to get all the way back to stair, right? You should hop on car, break the fence, come up here, and then retreat. It's very rare they can do that successfully. So once you start winning this fight, you should aggressively push through and then kill any stragglers to continue the stagger. Now, assuming you win this fight, your goal should be come up here and defend this corner right here, which I'm going to call crosswalk because of this. So you should defend crosswalk slash left stair. Okay, this is this is left stair right here. This is the main stair. That's the most important stairwell in this entire map. So you should defend this spot right here. It's very unusual to be pushed up this far on virtually any map. I think Colosseum is the only map I can think of where you push up this far uh, on offense. So while the robot is still slowly, like if you have your honor or whomever is like slowly moving this up over here, you're literally all the way at this corner. Doesn't matter if you have range or not, right? Reinhardt, Orisa, Junker Queen, Roadhog, doesn't matter. Play this corner and just force the other enemy team to slow down. Ultimately, you cannot stop them. They're gonna have five people rolling out this door and they're eventually gonna push you back. The goal is to just slow them down. The first people who respawn, do not let them take bridge or left platform. That's your goal, right? You can't stop the whole team. It is just stop them from taking bridge and left platform as long as you possibly can. Once the pressure gets too much, then drop back down. Hopefully, the robot has gotten to here. But that is unlikely, especially on the very first push. Probably the robot's only around here, in which case you should play this angle right here and continue applying pressure. If they decide to overextend, right, and start stretching out this way so they can play bridge, you have access to their back line and fight them. Or, most likely, their tank is going to face off against you and then your DPS are going to have to fight each other on top of bridge. You are not likely to win this fight. Uh, and that's okay, right? A, a huge part of it is simply moving the robot forward and constantly keeping that progress. You're probably not going to win this fight if they do it correctly and the teams are relatively even, but that's totally fine. Okay, if you did lose like one or two people or more here, as soon as you get the, the barrier to around here, just book it and head back. That's okay, it's just fine. Like just get as much distance as you can, be like, oh, cool, they're here, I don't wanna die, just go back. Especially if you, if you don't have any supports, you're gonna be low, don't try to force it. Most important thing, regroup and fight again. Now, let's assume that you did win this next fight somehow. What happens after that? So if you fully win that fight, um, you're going to go and continue to hold crosswalk, right? Just continue holding this spot right here. Um, this is very common to see, for example, for Zarya steamrolls, where she's like a ton of energy and she can hold back the whole time, whole team by herself or a Roadhog, whomever. Like after you win the fight over here, just continue holding crosswalk. If it's a partial win, Right? You're, again, you have some people missing, just push the robot probably around here. You probably will not be able to get it to forward spawn and just leave through mid and rejoin your team again. Okay? So let's imagine that it's a full win. You're holding crosswalk. And then they are going to uh, again come out here, and then you're gonna you're going to be fighting. You might get pushed back from here most likely and have to re rejoin on the robot. Okay, once the robot's around here, you probably do not want to stay here because your supports will be out of LOS because your supports are probably going to be on the cart. So you can no longer play here once the robot goes under bridge. You probably need to drop and rejoin. Again, strongly defender favor, all right? They have control over here. Ideally, you would control that, but there's almost no way that you can control that, that, that crosswalk in this situation because you have one pushing the cart. So it's going to be a four and five in the best case scenario. So they should easily be able to force you out of this position. In that case, rejoin fight on cart, right? Use ultimates, do whatever you're going to do, try to force things out, and then, you know, win or die. Now, from here, let's imagine that you win from this position. Don't worry, I'll cover the losses later. If you win from this position and you completely wipe them, go through, I'm going to call the statue room, go through statue room, hold crosswalk from this side, right? And now prevent them from moving forward while the bot keeps moving. Let's imagine that you kill them, but you do not fully wipe them. Like, let's say the tank comes early, they jump in too early, and then they die. That's fine. In that case, stay with cart, 
go up and control this corner right here, because going up here is going to be too dangerous, especially if they have a lot of high damage that they can burst you down really, really quickly. So in that, in that perspective, you should just maybe go up here. This is also relevant if they have blankers. So let's say they have a ball or a tracer or whomever, and they lost, let's say, you know, their Cassidy early or something like that, and they're rolling around. Don't worry about holding this crosswalk, because you have people behind you, so just stay with the robot and prevent your team from getting bursted down. So you're going to go up here, and then you're going to hold uh, this bridge. So at this point, you'll get the next big fight. This is starting to become less and less defender favored. Okay, I think the worst part is this first fight right here, and then this second fight right here are the worst fights. Once you get over here, uh, I think the, the fights become progressively more and more even. Now, I think as a tank, you do not want to rush this fight. You want your team to stretch out and take multiple angles from here, from here, here, and then potentially statue room as well. And then you kind of need to make your own read, like, do I need to play here? Do I need to play here? It's very difficult to say, depending on what, what your, which tank or you have, which tank they have. Do I want to play here? you got a lot of options. But most important thing is to get the robot to at least this corner and then start moving the robot forwards. And of course, you can use the robot and the barricade itself as cover. So let's say that you win this fight. Once you win this fight, you're going to go up here and hard hold crosswalk. Okay, so now the robot's going to come over here. You're going to be holding crosswalk, depending on the timing. If you manage to get here very early, like it's a real full roll, you should control garden. So I call this side garden. This side is called like glass room. Mm. Oh, they got some fun artwork. I, I never even look at this in the game. Anyway, so garden. So the most important part of controlling this area is garden side. Garden has a lot of cover. It also has the mini in there. You might say, oh, the glass room also has a mini here. Well. Does, yeah, the mini's all the way in the back, which makes it a lot less useful, and they have way worse line of sight and cover. Okay, they have to really expose themselves to do anything here. Garden has this angle, has this angle, and has this angle, and they're much more sheltered, plus they can play here and here. So you come in, and you're going to hold Garden in this situation, preferably like up to here, and make sure you have LOS, right? If you are very scared of like whatever they're coming out, they're going to ulti or whatever it is, then you can play over here. You got some options, but most importantly, think hold garden, hold and take garden, right, as long as possible. And once you take garden, if they can't push you out, game's over. All right, so let's roll that back. Let's imagine that you are going to lose a fight. Okay, so you lost the fight over here, and then you're going to respawn and you're going to come back, and the robot's going to be right around here. So we're going to um, we're going to talk about arches. So for defending arches or pushing arches from here, right? So you, you rejoin, like let's say the very first fight you uh, you won, but you only have three people alive. You go back, you rejoin the team, you come back over here. Arches. There's nothing particularly interesting to note here other than the fact it's a sharp 90 degree turn. So over here, the first enemy that comes around is going to get lit up. So your perspective is, I want them to come to me, not the other way around. I do not want them to be the one who swings. I want them to swing into me. All right? So... If you can be patient here, right? Step up, step up, right? One corner at one pillar at a time, play it slow. Hopefully their tank tries to like in, in on you and then you can you can kill them. All right, other than that, it's just like cover to cover and trying to keep track of everything. This high ground is very powerful. If you're playing brawl, you'll have no ability to deal with that. Um, but other than that, it's just, you know, a pretty straightforward fight. Nothing particularly interesting for me to note. It is definitely um, favored for them, right? They have a lot more angles to possibly play from uh, in this scenario. But I think it's worth it to fight here because the next fight will be all the way on your side, which is very favored. Okay. So now let's say, imagine we lose that fight. If we lose this fight, we're defending our arches. So we reverse the situation. I want to hold left stair and let my team come out of spawn and take this area over here, right? Bridge and then the right platform. So I want them to be set up here and here and here and here raining down fire on their team. I'm holding this stairwell because that's where their tank is. Remember, on offense, their tank is going to come up the stairwell and try to prevent your team from taking a high ground. So that's why you have to come out and force their tank back. This is a very typical tank mirror situation. So you just want to force them off high ground, prevent them from playing, and then look from here and be like, okay, what are my options? If their team is has one man on the cart and everybody else is just taking cover. This is very common where like the tank just sits on cart. And then let's say like the Ana, Cassidy, Ash are all playing back here. Then you should step down and contest the cart to prevent the cart from moving forwards, typically, assuming you're a brawl or poke. So you're gonna play down here on the robot. The rest of your team will still be set up top and then you just play time, right? Sooner or later, your team will get picks. Probably you're significantly favored. Once you get picks, you can steamroll and begin. Let's imagine you lose this fight, unfortunate. So the robot's going to get all the way over here. You're going to respawn, and when you spawn, it's going to be the same general idea. You're going to come out, 
the tank is probably going to be playing right here or potentially right here. You're going to force the tank back. And again, remember, you are favored by numbers. Very, very important to know on push is that you're always going to be favored by numbers. There's always going to be one person on the cart. So when you come on a spawn, it'll be a five on four situation. Super, super important to recognize that and play accordingly. So I want to come out aggressively. I want to force the tank back. From here, I want to stretch all the way over, put my team, set them up on bridge, and then their team uh, might be close to capping. If they are close to capping, it is usually worth it to drop and contest the point. The reason being is that if you die before the point is capped, your respawn is halved after the point caps, right? You'll be able to spawn a lot faster. So it's almost a free fight. Not quite, but almost a free fight. However, don't drop in like suicide, right? If, if you're like, oh, I'm gonna get obliterated like the Bastions in you know, assault form, don't do that. But generally speaking, if it's like a winnable fight, drop right now. But otherwise, hold this high ground as long as you possibly can, rain down fire, look for opportunities to drop on squishies, recognize like they're gonna be potentially split up in all sorts of different directions. It's gonna be a, a very complicated fight, right? Lots of things for you to track, lots of positioning for you to track as well. Um, but again, as a brawl tank, don't be afraid to drop and let your rest of your team stay high. If you lose this fight, the robot will probably move all the way around to here. So again, respawning. Ideally, you want to take all the way here and take this corner and force them to have to swing on you when there is no cover and the rest of your team can light them up. However, depending on timing, you may not be able to take this corner. If you cannot take this corner, you should now take crosswalk. Okay, so you should come up here and you should take left side crosswalk probably, maybe right side crosswalk. Right, left side crosswalk is a little safer, right side crosswalk is a little more committed, but if you're someone like Jugger Queen of speed, it can be much better to play this side because you have access to the back line. So regardless, either left or right side of crosswalk, you hold this as long as you possibly can. Ideally, right again, as I mentioned before, uh, this becomes less and less defender favorite at this point, but you do have spawn advantage, which is nice. So ideally, you just stay here and hopefully your DPS makes a pick or you get an ult hit and it can wipe them. If you lose this fight, things are looking pretty bad for you. As always, as the reverse and offense come out this way, go to garden, take garden, take this corner. And this is pretty much the only shot that you have at this point is holding this corner as long as you can. I think if you give up this corner and play here, you're probably going to get walked over regardless. Um, but I mean, yeah, I, if you're going to die, like give this up. But this is truly the very last spot you can play. You cannot play here and win this fight. It's not possible. So again, try to take here. If you get forced back, play here. If you get forced back again, probably over. All right. So um, let's talk about this from... Uh, the actual gameplay perspective. So we're gonna watch through, I just picked a, a totally random game that I reviewed a while ago. I think this is probably like goldish. And we're gonna kinda play this out um, and, and we'll talk about the tank reads. So we're watching red team here and then red team's gonna come forwards. Trace is gonna get picked right away. Yeah, Junk Red hears it. Or Junk, junk Queen hears it. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we get pick number one, we get pick number two. What does that mean? Push, 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 push. Okay, get aggressive, start moving. Move, move, move. I, I don't think you even need to dodge here, right? Just keep, literally just keep, just run at them. There's nothing they can do to stop you at this point. Keep pushing. So, red team is gonna make a mistake here, which is they're all just gonna sit on this cart, which is not the right idea. Junker Queen needs to be moving up here to contest this spot, because you see this Torb is gonna sit up on position on bridge, which is the correct thing to do. This is what Torb should be doing. Spamming down, every spam could be a possible headshot, could get somebody really injured. Junker Queen should just run up here, cut off this Torb's retreat, kill him, and continue the stagger. Right? Also, you see Bastion coming out of spawn. Very important to not let the Bastion get in position. If I'm standing here, the Bastion can't run at me, because I'll kill him. Right? The Bastion either has to pop tank form or wait for somebody else to help the Bastion get forwards. So it's a huge mistake for red team to not be playing up right now. So this is the arch fight. Again, blue team basically doing it correctly, staying on bridge, staying high ground. Uh, red team is chilling. Again, red team making a mistake. Junker Queen should be right here. She should be playing on the stairs right now instead of playing down low. You see how, how ineffective she is? She can't do anything down there. Right? This is not creating space at all from, from the red team tank perspective. Right? Ball's going to slam in. It's a good slam. Again, Junker Queen's not able to do anything right now. I know there's a ball, but even with the ball, play up. It's okay. Like, you can... Junker Queen can do so much work here if she's playing that right stair. Anyway, Bastion's dead. Ball's low. Team's still gonna push. Again, right now, Junker Queen should be pushing stair. Keep going, keep going. So, very important not to go this way. Finally, this is the correct move for Junker Queen, is to push the stair. Alright, kill the turret. Do not rejoin the team. 
Continue fighting for for for, cro for crosswalk right now. It is a mistake to be playing under. See, the fact that Drinker Queen doesn't go this way allows the Tracer a free entry into this team. <laughs> this is uh, I don't know if this is even gold. Maybe this is like silver or bronze. Anyway, this is going on for a little while. They're down two. Great. I promise this game is not a complete roll. It's going to end up being a one-sided win, but there is going to be a, a loss eventually. So Drinker Queen goes through uh, Statue Room. This is okay. I mean, I think this is fine. Because, um, again, your team is taking this side. This is the closest way to crosswalk. Hold this room. I think totally fine. Right? This is the right corner to be holding. Do not back off this corner. Right? No reason to back off this corner. Hold this corner as long as I can. If I was here, the ball goes in. Great. I go for Moira right now. I force the Moira back. I force the Moira back. I force the Zen back. Ball's all alone. This is a mistake to be chasing the ball around. Oh, now, now I would shoot the ball because the ball's overextended. So, this is a great situation. So, let's analyze this for a second. I ended up down here. They have control of crosswalk. Where do I go? I do not go this way. I'm going to get outnumbered 3 on one 4 on one if I stay go to left room. This is where you should hold this corner. I should rotate right now, play up here, and go here. Right? That's why I said it was like a partial win versus a full win. This is kind of like a partial win, right? We got like one or two picks along the way, but most of the team is still intact. They have control of crosswalk. Play this corner. That's what I should be fighting for right now. Not playing a robot again. So, Junker Queen's out of position. I do not think she should be playing here. I think she should be playing here, forcing the Tracer back, and going after the Zen if the Zen ends up being alone. Alright, ball goes in. This is fine. Again, Junker Queen should be holding this corner. Right? Who cares about the ball? Kill the Zen, right? This is an easy two shot on the Zen right now. The Junker Queen's playing the correct corner. So you see how the Zen's able to put pressure on the soldier. Ball goes in. Who cares? Ignore the ball. Right. Still still roll in. So right now, Junker Queen's making a mistake. Junker Queen should be pushing up and taking crosswalk. Right. No reason to play in cart. Remember, in push mode, and only in push mode, the robot does not move faster with more teammates on it. In regular payload maps, up to three people move the cart faster. Each one moves it 16.5% faster. So two, so number one moves at 100% speed, and then if you have up to three people, it moves at 33% faster. Push mode is not like that. It also doesn't heal you. Only one person on the cart is necessary. So Junker Queen should be playing up here, denying space to the enemy. Again, if Junker Queen was here, the ball does not get this easy spin in. Right? The ball is going to nearly die here regardless. Junker Queen should be should still be up. Definitely should not be playing way back here. I know it seems scary, but like as a tank, you gotta be playing up. Right? So because we're playing so far back, the Zen's able to just charge up shots, blast through, kills the Kiriko. I don't think this happens if the Junker Queen's up here, because the Junker Queen will be putting a lot of pressure on the Zen, preventing the Zen from charging shots. So now we're down one. We res. We're down one again. Probably gonna end up being a loss. Just try to fight it out as long as you can. Right? Potentially still winnable, ball's low. Slam goes off. Mines are down, probably over now. Alright, shout. I think if you're gonna shout here, you should just get out. Alright, she gets pulsed, and then that's it. So, we're gonna respawn. We have forward spawn control. We're gonna go through main. Now, looking at main, so. Looking at the situation, we are up, I think, at least one. Oh, maybe not. Actually, all five all five are alive, but they are low. So, I would just push up right here. Yep, that's the right call. Just use the, use the barrier. Katsune's up. Go in. I don't know if I necessarily would ult there, but it's fine. This is mostly about the positioning anyway. We're not. This is not a uh, <laughs> Jerker Queen review. So, we're going to push through. Etc, etc. Uh, they end up winning this fight so i probably you see the junker probably got too aggressive should have worried about killing the back line and then we end up losing this fight we're gonna come out of spawn it's coming out again slam right so this is the correct move be playing right be playing right stairwell deny the ball entry in soldiers doing the right thing playing high ground great so junker queen is doing this early contest preventing the ball the robot from going further this is a good call I think this is fine, right? This plays exactly in the Junker Queen's uh, skill set. I have no idea why the Junker Queen's not shooting. <laughs> um, so we're fighting over here. Again, see how strong high ground is? It's very, very hard for the opposing team to deal with this. The Tracer's trying to fight our back line, but other than that, like, as long as the Mercy's there, there's no way the Tracer can win that fight. We're moving cart. Great. Perfect. 
start moving forwards. We're gonna find the turret in a second. Yeah, kill the turret. Oh, gotta watch out for that Zen. I can't believe the Dark Green did not kill that turret. <laughs> so, one thing to note, tanks will almost never go out this way unless they're playing Ball. I would say Ball is pretty much the only tank, maybe Doomfist, that would be going out to the side. It takes a really long time to do this rotation because there's no easy way to get back in because of the glass. Um, so I would strongly recommend that you stay main as much as you possibly can. So they ended pushing here. Still fighting. This uh, just stalling out for a little bit. Take of interest. Slam. Mines go off. Sorry, trying to get to the good parts. All right. So we somehow managed to get the, the robot this far forwards. All right, once again, arches, right? Them swinging on us, great. If I'm Junker Queen, do not turn this corner. Just focus on the Tracer right now. Make them come to me. Now the Zen has swung. Now I can go after the Zen, great. Now I wanna chill, right? Do not wanna poke. I would probably play here, right? I don't wanna give up any more space. If I give up more space, there's no cover here. So I wanna play up here or up here. Do not give up too much space in this situation. Kitsune's up, but we've lost one. They pop trance. Probably not going to go well for us. Yeah, this is probably going to be a wipe. Yep, so this is a wipe. We do manage to get everybody out, which is great. Uh, we are going in again. Uh, I think this is reasonable because I think they are down one at least. Not including the kill that I just got. Or I, as in the Junker Queen, not actually me. So, Queen's out here. Alright, fighting. Looking good for us. Pushing cart forwards. All right, so now we're back to arches. We've lost one, unfortunate. So you have to make a call, right? Like how much do I want to keep pushing this? I think for now I would keep pushing this because it should be four and four until their respawner gets there. But they do have respawn advantage and I would keep that in mind. So I'd be okay trying to poke here and see what can be done. But if I can't get anything done, I retreating is also fine, right? Retreat and just hold arches here. Because by the time they get to arches, my teammate will also be almost back. In the situation. See, this is a mistake. Staying out here on their side where they can all see you, where this is a four on one, versus staying inside here, that's the that's the big mistake here, right? That the tank is making, the Junker Queen is making here, where she's trying to push this too early. Especially against a Zen who just you know obliterates you. Fortunately, team is able to win without the Junker Queen. Queen's gonna come back. So note here is look at the look at the robot's position. So you see the robot is already over here. The Junker Queen's gonna make a mistake by going right. She, what she should actually do is go left and go up these stairs to rejoin the team. That would be the correct move here. She's probably trying to help out against the Tracer, but I would assume that the team would be fine because of 2v1 there. Rejoins. Rejoins. So we've lost robot control, which is fine. So I should be thinking, hey, look, ignore the ball. Take this right stair, right? Take right stair, use right stair to kill Torb, rotate over, go for the back line at that point. Wasting way too much time down on low ground. This is very distracting. It's preventing you from taking space. Zen super extended. Got to go forward. Try to go for the Zen. Great. Perfect. Yep. Get the kills. Now we're going to get forward spawn. From forward spawn. Okay. Move forward. Take crosswalk. Go, go, go. Now we're at crosswalk. So from here, what should happen? The Drunker Queen should not be playing behind cart. Way too passive. Should have already taken Garden, right? Way before this, right? Right now, Drunker Queen should be moving forward nonstop to go take Garden. Because if Drunker Queen was up here, she would be fighting the Torb 1v1 and put a, potentially could have killed him by now. So this, too passive, right? You see how the rest of the team has the front line because the Queen is too passive? This is, the, this is a mistake, right? Queen needs to get in there right away. Right, War is dead. They're just staggering. See, the opposing team is doing it wrong as well. You do not want to fight around this corner. Let them take all the way to this corner, right? To the garden corner, because then you can set up another like U-shaped firing line against them. But because the Winston goes in early, you see how everybody's able to 5v1 the Winston right now before the team can do anything. This is a big mistake. Then the Moira decides to run in here. This is also a mistake, obviously. Right? This is silly. Because you see the Reaper was waiting here the whole time, but he's like, what do I do now? If the Winston had been waiting here and went in at this moment, big difference on the outcome of this fight. Right? But he doesn't. Reaper's here alone. Still kills the Junker Queen. Go, go, go. Mercy might go for a res here. 
she maybe she doesn't have it. Uh, Ryan comes out. And that's going to be it. Okay, cool. Um, I'm going to hold there. Hopefully this was helpful. And feel free to ask questions in the comments if you still have any anything that you're, you're curious about. All right, thanks for watching.